Okay, so uh, welcome to everybody to uh, the Collège de France. It's really a pleasure to uh, begin this uh, day on uh, AI mathematics for meteorology and climatology. This was uh, organized uh, uh, by myself and uh, Pierre-Louis Lyons, but it is part really of a program which is uh, Avenir Commun Durable, which is a program uh, around uh, the issue of uh, climatology and the consequences, bringing together professors both from social sciences, uh, mathematics and sciences in general. And this program is supported by uh, uh, La Fondation Covea, Total Energy, uh, Foragia Mobility and Sagoma that uh, we thank here uh, for allowing us to organize this conference. So, uh, as you know, the issue of uh, meteorology, climatology nowadays is a very strongly political issue also, uh, given what's happening in the US. And in fact, this is affecting us today because there is just in front of us a conference organized uh, by the President de la République in uh, Sorbonne with uh, ministers of uh, Europe and the 27 ministers of uh, research and education from Europe are going to come to the Collège de France uh, this afternoon, which means for us to announce, uh, in fact, the program Choose France, that I'll speak uh, just a few words, but the consequence of that is that uh, this uh, afternoon, uh, there will be difficulties to enter uh, the Collège de France because the uh, 27 uh, European ministers will be there. So you'll need to enter the Collège de France from the Rue Saint-Jacques. So please remember, I'll give a hint again at the end, you need to enter from uh, 119th, I think, uh, uh, Rue Saint-Jacques uh, when we'll begin uh, the second part uh, of uh, the program this afternoon. So. Uh, the idea of this program that we've put together with Pierre-Louis was really to bring uh, together the different components of uh, what's happening in meteorology and climatology. That's right now a very fascinating uh, uh, scientific problems besides uh, the importance of applications because we've seen during the last two, three years AI coming in and to the surprise of many, being able to uh, provide remarkably precise prediction for meteorology, first at very short terms and progressively at longer and longer term. And this raises very fundamental scientific questions about modeling. Where should data and AI come in relatively to the models provided by physics and relatively to what we understand on these equations from a mathematical point of view. So that's this idea of this uh, conference today was to bring together all these parts, math, physics, and AI around this issue of meteorology and climatology. And uh, here's the program. So I will just uh, uh, mention few modification. We're sorry that Laure Zana was unable to take her flight yesterday night. So uh, Claire Monteleoni will replace Laure so from 11.30 to 12.30. And therefore, uh, Marc Boquet, who was scheduled at 4.20, will give his uh, conference at uh, 3. And there is a possibility that Law will give her a uh, conference at the end in, uh, by uh, Visio, but that still needs to be uh, confirmed. So uh, we are going now uh, to begin. I just wanted also to mention maybe uh, the topic of uh, uh, these meetings from uh, European minister is about uh, choosing Europe for doing research. So any researcher from the US interested in coming uh, to Europe around uh, these topics are, of course, very welcome. That's the topic. And uh, we are going to begin now with uh, the conference of uh, Michael Brenner. So Michael was a professor at MIT before uh, let me maybe 
install that. Here's the... Thank you. Okay, let me just introduce. So uh, before uh, joining Harvard, the interesting aspect of the work of Michael is that he's precisely at the intersection of all these fields, both physics, applied mathematics, and now uh, AI. So thank you very much for... Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.